Today we'll be looking at mastering Intune management. Now this is a powerful and yet open source tool created by Mikey K and Christian S, which has saved me countless hours when it comes to tenant migrations. So buckle up, turn up those speakers and let's, let's go. go. Introduction. So what is Intune? If you are in the MS admin space, you already are familiar with Microsoft Intune. For those of you that are not, Intune is a cloud-based service that forms part of the wider Microsoft Endpoint Management Suite. It's designed to help system admins manage the devices and applications of staff from any location, on-prem or remote. It's particularly useful for ensuring the security and compliance of devices and apps, especially in the world of remote working. Now steps in Intune management. Now, why is this so good? You might ask. This tool simplifies backing up or cloning your entire Intune environment. With capabilities to export and import objects, including assignments, it's versatile across many different tenants, which is a star point for me here. The migration table created during the export is a game changer for importing assignments in new environments seamlessly. This even supports dynamic groups and handles dependencies like app protection, policy sets and scope tags efficiently. Need I say more? Now for those of you that are more technically proficient in this area, this is a set of robust PowerShell scripts under the hood, leveraging a few key APIs, mostly the MS Auth, MS Graph and Azure management ones. Now it's designed for managing objects in Intune and Azure with a particular set of scripts that feature a user-friendly WPF UI, making complex operations like export, import, download, copying, and comparing a piece of cake. The backbone of this application lies in the foundation modules, which is the cloud-based and PowerShell management-based API in course. This is handled neatly in a UI which has settings, login, customizations and much more. Now let's get a handle on what the actual issue is that we're looking at and how this particular tool helps in resolving said issue. Now follow along in the lab and we can get hands on. Now we're headed over to the lab, we can actually see what the problem is and how this can be resolved with Intune Management. So if we go into our tenant and we go into configuration, we can see a number of policies here. Now these are policies of any tenant that I've just created a number of clients that I've deployed for. Now, for example, if we go into the interactive logon, for example, we can see here the policies fire just fine. However, if I want to export this policy, and apply it to another tenant that I might be working with that requires exactly the same features. How do I get all these customization settings over to said new tenant or client? Now up here, you can see you've got an export feature here, which doesn't do anything. If you hit export, it exports a CSV file for you, which is garbage. You can't do nothing with it. And if you click the ellipsis, it just goes straight to delete. Now here, you've got an import feature, but it's an import ADMX, which doesn't do anything for me either. It gives you an import and it gives you a file that you can import, but again, many times I've tried and it's either fails or there's some JSON error and it doesn't work smoothly and none of the permissions copy over either. Again, we can go into devices and look at exactly the same settings. We can go into, say for one for BitLocker, Again, no options. Here you've got the settings set for BitLocker. And again, no options. You can create, but that'd be creating a new one. You can't export anywhere I can find anyway, natively. You can't export none of these policies. So you'd be sitting here grinding for hours on a tenant and thinking, well, I've got another client to do. And then again, you're gonna set up all these same configurations the next client wants and it just don't work. So like I mentioned, in steps this tool, Intune Management by Mikey K. 
and we can see here definitely huge huge props to him for getting this up and running maintaining the repo and making it a free and available for everyone to use it's very well documented it has many forks many stars and i can't give it enough props if you were to search and grind out the reddit under the intune read you're going to see many of the same questions i'm trying to answer here people want to duplicate compliance and configuration policies people want to know how to export import intune configuration profiles the same questions i was banging my head around trying to get to work so let's demo this and see how we can get it to work so first thing you want to do is download said repo locally onto your desk and you can create a new folder here called templates now this is just an empty one i'll come back to that later now we open up the master folder and then you can scroll down and what you're going to see is a start cmd and a start intune management process so if you start this file right click and then run with powershell you get a powershell window open up and it starts to initialize and invoke said settings right now that's done we get a nice gui and it shows you on the left all the management features you have available under your tenant and it gives you your tenant information on the right as you can see here it also gives you the msal token the access token the id token and it gives you all the information that you are actually in the tenant you're managing now from here it's absolutely golden time but what you want to do if you're doing a use case like i have is to start up a second instance of the application so from there you can use the start cmd feature and this will initialize again a second instance now we have two instances running side by side so one will be the tenant that you're working with and the second all you have to do is sign out and sign in as global admin of course to the second tenant now we logged in from one tenant to another tenant now once we're at this stage and we have tenant a on the left and tenant b running at the same time what we can do is begin to target which features that we actually want to import into tenant b on the right so on tenant a we can go to autopilot for example we can take any compliance policy required any compliance scripts any device config this is usually a big one for most system admins so for example for here we can take interactive logon or block the background images we can take those configurations which usually take a lot of time to config and get them right and simply export them so from here we can hit export and we can set a root directory so here we can set it in that templates folder i mentioned earlier now here you have three options to tick now you have add object names to path so that'll give the parent folder that you're exporting this to the same name as whatever file that you're exporting or policy you can add the company name to the path if you wish just if you've got loads of tenants for example you might get lost which policies belong to which so it might be good to do that and then this bit's quite important export assignments now if we hover over this what this actually means is this will export assignments and add information to the migration table so they can be imported to other environments so for us we will keep that and now what we could do is export all of them or just export the selected two so the selected two is all of them in this instance so we hit export all now it's validating that and that has worked now if we go back into said folder templates and there we have it we have the device configurations been exported there's all the corresponding json files 
and we have the groups as well. Perfect. That option, as we saw earlier, isn't even available to us. So we're that one step closer to not only exporting anything that we need, we can easily use the GUI to import that back in. But why do that? Why don't we just use the same tool, but in a reverse context? This time we'll import. Again, you just go to device configuration. You can see I've already done this earlier um, just by the naming structures. But if you go to import, then you select the same directory in this example. We can go into select that folder. You can see here it's picking up whatever we need. So in this instance, we could pick up anything. It's picking up anything within the folders that we exported to. So here's all the policies. And then again, it's just the options available to us. You assign the scopes that you require. You can import the same assignments. Now guys, this is quite important. So it imports objects assignments. Note this will create groups that don't exist in the target environment. So if you're going from tenant A and you have a certain naming structure for your groups and certain roles already assigned in those groups and you just hit import into tenant B, those same names and groups are going to carry over regardless if they exist or not. So my top tip here is to keep the same naming structure across all tenants if you're the one that's managing them. And then you can obviously replace dependency IDs if you need. And then you simply hit import and it's done. It's that easy, guys. Now, I'll give you time to cherry pick through what you need. But in a nutshell, that's how easy it is to import and export from one tenant to another if you're global admin. And it saves you a ton of time. Conclusion. Now, with Intune management, you're equipped to handle complex Intune environments with ease, whether they're singular tenants or multi-tenants clonings. A quick note on security here as well, the scripts aren't signed, so you might encounter warnings. However, they are designed to unlock files to ensure smooth operations. So if you're concerned in any way, the PowerShell code is of course open source and open to review, as well as the DLL files which can be manually downloaded from Microsoft repos. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe as it helps the Ace and the HD channel, of course. And if you have any questions around this area of work or if you're just getting started or stuck in anything, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out.